Remember that friend in high school that was so desperate for a boyfriend or girlfriend that sometimes just being with them was so embarrassing? What I'm gonna tell you today is you need to reach that level of desperation. But before we get into this talk, welcome to Espresso with Sky. I'm so glad that you've joined us here today. If it is your first time, go ahead, hit the subscribe, smash that notification bell. If you wanna help us out a little bit more, hit the like button. But if you really wanna help us out, please leave a comment below. Now, if you don't know what to comment about, just leave, uh, oh, comment about your favorite fruit, right? Just talk about your favorite fruit. Apples, oranges, you know, mangoes, durian, whatever it is, just write down your favorite fruit. All right, so. Let's get into today's topic of desperation. Now, when we think about the word desperation, that is a place nobody wants to be, right? We don't wanna be there, we don't wanna be desperate because that means you hit rock bottom. First thing I wanna talk about today is kind of changing your perception about desperation. Desperation could be good or bad. Yes, I said it, desperation could be good. Now, how do you know the difference between good desperation and bad desperation? Very easy, it's all about the result, right? Example, imagine there's a desperate guy looking for girls, buying them gifts, you know, like talking to so many girls, asking them out, and you're like, oh my gosh, look at this guy go, he's so desperate. But by the end of it, he finds the girl of his dreams. And even you're surprised how great and amazing this girl is, and you're like, whoa. And then what happens is you become the best man in the wedding, and when you give the best man speech, what do you talk about? Ma'am, this guy searched far and low, this guy was searching for the girl of his dreams, and I can't believe he found her. He actually found her. And what's gonna happen? Everyone looks at this desperation in a good way. However, change the ending and what happens? Then all of a sudden, he's pathetic, he's pitiful, I don't wanna hang out with him, why? Because he's just going around desperately seeking for a girl. The ending plays a big point. How about this, what about you students out there? Imagine you have like a 50 page paper, you spend two weeks on it, you finish it finally, go to sleep, gotta hand it in the next day. You wake up in the morning, you open your computer, file is gone. Please, no, no! Desperation kicks in. But when you get desperate, what do you do? Do you care about brushing your teeth? Do you care about taking a shower? Do you care about eating breakfast? You don't care. You are gonna scramble around, call all your friends, call like the electronics store, the computer place, try to find where that file is. Now what's gonna happen is, if you find the file and you go to school in that condition, and you say, man, this is what happened, you're like, oh dude, you're so, oh, that's so great. But if you don't find the file and you go to school like that, what's everyone thinking? That's so pitiful, oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for this person. The desperation becomes a bad desperation, right? The thing you need to know is this, no matter what the outcome, because you know what, you don't control the all the outcomes, right? So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but, the state of mind, the desperation is always the same. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So you can't really look at it as a good or bad thing. It's just the place you're in and it's not a bad thing. You should be like that in those situations. Now, why do we go into desperation? There's two reasons. Number one is, it's gotta be something super important to you. And it's different for everyone. For a child, what is it? It's a toy. For a teenager, it's like the first date and you get your first pimple, right? That's like crazy, right? Third one is when you're an adult, it's about your marriage, buying your first house or having your first kids. Like those are things that are super important to us, right? So number one, it has to be important. But the second thing is, with this important thing, you have exhausted all your options. And that's when you go into desperation mode, right? That's why you get desperate. It's important and you have nowhere else to go. You've hit rock bottom and this is when you start to go nuts. Why is it good to go into desperation then? Right, you gotta think about this. Why is it so good to go into desperation? Why is it a good thing to be desperate? Now, here's the thing. Someone actually asked me this question. Uh, there's someone, no, it wasn't even a question, it was a comment. And they said to me like, well, you know, I think, cause I'm a pastor and a missionary. They said to me like, hey, you know, it feels like people who go into religion and faith, like all different types of faith, they do it because they're desperate, right? And they have nowhere else to go. They're unhappy or whatever this. And because they're in that state of mind, they're gonna try anything. And I, I looked at that and said, well, you know, it's kind of true. It is kind of true. A lot of people I've met, they're in a down slump, right? They've reached rock bottom. They couldn't find an answer. But why is that a bad thing? Think about this carefully. Human beings are very interesting. Why would they try that option when they're desperate? Human beings are interesting because one thing that we have is preference. 
So even if there's like a hundred options, or let's just say there's 10, even if there's 10 options to make something successful, because of preference, there are a bunch of options we throw out. And we'll say, well, those four, never gonna try those ever, right? It's almost like people when they're dating, like, oh, I don't want those types of girls, I don't want those types of girls, I don't want girls that look like this, I don't want girls that look like that, right? Like they have these preferences and they'll stay away from like three or four of them out of the 10. So what happens is they'll first do all the things that they think is right, like five or six of them. It doesn't mean it's right, it's just what they prefer. So after exhausting all five, six things on something that is super, super important to them, what happens? To them, that is exhausting all your options. And then what do they do? They go into desperation mode. Now, why is desperation mode good here? Because it begins to open your eyes and open your heart to the options you never would have thought of, right? Yeah, when we're desperate, we don't care, right? We just want this thing that's so important to me to actually be successful. And when you hit desperation, what happens? You start looking at options you never would have thought of before. Right? And this is why people start trying things they never would have thought of before, like religion, right? Like faith. A lot of people come in because it's always been an option, but they cut that out and said, this is not my option. But once they tried all these things, some people feel like, what do they feel? Like unhappy, some people are depressed, some people have anxiety, some people even suicide. I've met all different types of people. Why do they slowly go over to this end? Because they've exhausted all their options that they're willing to try and it opens their hearts and their minds to things, well, I don't know what else, where else to go, so let's just try these things. And one of the greatest things about desperation is it finally opens your heart to things that you never would have opened your heart to. It'll open your, your mind, your eyes to look at things you never would have looked at before, listen to things that you never would have listened to before either. When you hit the point of desperation, because I'm telling you, most human beings, we do not exhaust every option. Because we are people of preference, we cut a bunch of things out where the answer could actually lie. And what we do is we exhaust only the things we like. And when we hit desperation, the good thing about us is we know there's more options, but the desperation opens our hearts and our minds to things that we never would have tried before. And this is why I want you guys to reach that position right? Get to the place where you're, where you become desperate and your eyes open to the things that you were never open to. This is how there are amazing inventions, amazing discoveries in science, in math, right? In, in medical science, like so many different places. People had to reach the point of desperation before they tried something new or tried something they never would have thought of before. And I hope that you guys too, that when you hit that point of desperation, realize that it is you opening your heart to just wanting the thing that you think is so important to be successful. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's talk. And if you haven't done it yet, go ahead, hit subscribe, smash that notification bell, and help us out by liking. And of course, in the comments, write down your favorite fruit. Everyone, have an amazing day, and we'll see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.